Howdy all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide series for Astro Photography Tool. And in this one we're going to Session Craft and having a look at the Focus Control section which sets up and controls your auto focusing during an imaging session. So let's get into it. So Focus Control is at the bottom of your Session Craft window and it Cont contains various ways to control autofocus and temperature compensation focusing uh, throughout a session. Now the very top one is your temperature compensation and this is a good way to do some refocusing during the night but it is one that takes time and effort and deep sky or dark sky time to get it right. So you may not want to use this unless you want to spend a couple of nights just monitoring temperatures and focus positions. Um, Real-time compensation, I don't recommend turning this on. Basically what that is is that if your temperature compensation point is reached, it will refocus the, uh, move the focuser uh, no matter what you're doing at the time. So if you're in the middle of an image, it will move the focuser in the middle of an image. And I don't like that idea, but the option is there if you want to use it. Next you can select your temperature source depending on what type of sensor you have. Um, most people have a focuser sensor but there are also the supported external sensors um, and if you have both you can use an average of them. So that's just selecting a source. I'll just go focuser because that's what I've got at the moment. Okay this is where the hard part comes in. Um, the steps per one degree of temperature change you need to spend a night and what you need to do is um, at a temperature find your uh, f focus point and what position your focus is at wait for it to change by one degree do another focus and etc 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 and you need to do this a number of times so every degree the temperature drops do a measurement every degree the temperature drops focus and do a measurement so that's why it's so hard to set up initially because um, you've got to spend so much time because you want a large number of readings to be able to get it right um, so once you've got that done you can enter it once you know how many steps you're moving on every one degree of change and just a note it does take uh, APT is able to take less than full step moves of course it's not going to change it if it's not a full step but um, it does allow for that to put it in so it knows that okay at two degrees I need to move one step and that's how that goes there then there's the frequency that APT takes the readings. Um, this can be whatever you like. Every 10 seconds works fine. You might want to go longer or shorter. And then the final one is the uh, number of average readings. So you don't want to take it over too small an average period. Otherwise, you know, just fluctuations in temperature from the wind or whatever um, will cause you to do a compensation when it's not needed to. Um, the default settings here is 10 seconds over 60 readings which is 10 minutes I sometimes change it to every 15 seconds over 45 minutes um, it depends on what you want to do but I do suggest you know 10 or 15 minutes for your averaging period um, would be better than just you know a short two or three minute ones you don't want to be trying to compensate when it doesn't need to but that's your settings for temperature compensation. As I said, this is not auto focusing. It is simply moving the focuser as your temperature changes. So that's what that does there. Next, you have your refocus on every, these are actually running on auto focus now, but every, whatever degrees you set here, I've got 1.5 set at the moment. And what'll happen then, it will refocus every time the temperature, uh, averaged temperature comes along, it will refocus it on that number of degrees. Uh, based on your ambient temperature. If you haven't got a sensor connection connected, I haven't at the moment, it's pretty useless. So in this one, it works basically the same as the last one. Um, you select your focus or saw, source, uh, how often you want the readings, and how many readings you want to average it over. Again, 10 minutes, 15 minutes is good. Uh, two or three minutes, bad. So that's up to you what settings you use in there, but similar to the other ones. So that's what I've got there at the moment and that will then average it out you'll get a reading here uh, which will tell you how many readings it's done um, and how many uh, what the degree in temperature change for your uh, current temperature ambient temperature and what it does is um, it shows you the number of readings now if the readings have a little star next to them um, that will mean that uh, 
it's done one complete lot and it's starting on the next lot so the average is actually so when you've got it set for 60 then you take another image of uh, another reading which goes to 61 it averages after, over the last 60 so it'll ignore the first one then 62 will be from 3 to 62 etc 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 then of course you have just refocus on a time limit um, that can be anything you like refocus every 20 minutes or sorry time limit I'm talking about uh, images sorry you can refocus every you know 20 images 10 min images what you set that at if you want to do it that way is uh, depends on I suppose the length of your images the shorter the images the more images between doing a refocus simple as that uh, then you've got a time based one which is simply again just whatever time in minutes you want to refocus in an hour 60 minutes you want to refocus every two hours by default 120 minutes one to take us every 30 minutes you can do it uh, then you can have refocus on filter change I use this one um, simply because I'd like to refocus on a filter change the only thing with this is if you change a filter um, outside a running plan it will pop up a warning or a message asking do you want to refocus on the uh, change of filter and it really will depend on what you're doing at the time you may or may not want to refocus so that's what that does there uh, if you want to refocus after doing a meridian flip you can check that uh, it's pretty easy to work that out if, if you're doing a flip do you refocus and uh, then you have if you want to force one you can use the refocus after current or next image where at the end of the current image it will stop uh, do an auto focus then continue with your plan so that's basically what that has there then you have your last focusing log here um, which will tell you the time it was done uh, the reading that was taken at the time for your half flux diameter or your full width half maximum or your inverse power uh, depending on what method you use uh, it'll tell you the focus of position for that particular reading uh, the filter that was used and the uh, ambient temperature uh, if you've got a temperature sensor connected and that's what all that will do and of course you have this little button up here where you can actually pause the auto focusing uh, if you wish to do that and that covers it for the focus control um, i hope you found this useful and i'll wish you all clear sky and see you in another video later bye all